If you are interested in becoming a surveyor or volunteer with amphibian and reptile conservation, visit our website at www.arc-trust.org. Hello, in this video we'll be showing you how to use ArcGIS field maps so that you, as a surveyor or volunteer with amphibian and reptile conservation, can effectively plan and manage your survey sites through maps. The first thing you see when you log into the app is the maps page. Here you will see your recently opened maps as well as your map folders. At the top of the page is a search bar which you can use to help you find the specific folder or map you are looking for. If you click onto one of your group folders, the screen will open onto the list of maps in that folder. If you click the three dots next to a map's name, you will see you have access to four features. View details, which allows you to see your level of clearance for the map, who owns the map and when it was last modified. Add offline area, which allows you to select and download a section of the map to be available offline. Favourite or unfavourite, to add or take the map off of your favourite maps list. And reload map, which makes sure you have updated your map to the latest version. To open a map, click on it. Once the map has opened, you may be able to see some active map layers. In this example, you can see the Vice County boundaries outlined in white and survey sites denoted by different coloured dots. On your map, you are able to freely zoom in and out by pinching two fingers together or apart on the screen, as well as move around by swiping the screen with one finger. The maps also have features that are likely familiar to you. The back button in the top left corner which returns you to your folder or the maps page. The layers button to its right that allows you to show and or hide specific map features. The search function to its right which allows you to search for a specific location. And in the far right corner, a menu button with more functions for you to optimise your map, including base map, which allows you to change the type of base map you're using. Bookmarks, which allows you to view and use bookmarks. Legends, which shows the symbols for each of the layers displayed on the map. And if you have a site layer turned on, this could include a green dot showing available sites, a beige dot indicating pending sites, and a brown dot indicating allocated sites. Other features include markup, which allows you to add a layer of marks, such as dots, lines and arrows, to annotate your map for your own use. And you can also add notes and labels to your markups. Measure, which allows you to measure the length between two or more points. Alternatively, measure the area of a shape on your map. And Share Map, which allows you to share your map to your contacts and allows you to save the map to your files. Finally, if we return to the map page, in the top left corner is a profile icon. If you click on this icon, you will see many more options to customise your experiences with the app. Although you may not need many of these customization options, there are some, such as the option to change the units of measurement used by the app, as well as the ability to sign out of your account, which may be useful. Thank you for watching this tutorial provided by Amphibian and Reptile Conservation. To find more videos, including additional tutorials on ArcGIS field maps and Survey123, podcasts, educational lessons and more, visit our YouTube page. And to find out more about our work with the UK's amphibian and reptile species, visit our website at www.arc-trust.org.